Many of us have Memorial Day weekend off, but some volunteered to work. Tonight, we take you behind the scenes to show you who adorns 280 acres of green in red, white, and blue. I would news reporter Walt Buteau from Exeter with this week's treat story. What adds up to nearly 30,000 flags wouldn't be here without an army of volunteers. Many of the 500 plus who put the flags in place are too young to name any of the wars. I think it's important to show the younger generation exactly what the older generations did for us. Ariella McCaffrey and her 13-year-old son are among the volunteers. The flags, the dedication, remind them of her father's service in the Merchant Marines. He talked a lot about the experience, um, and he did come close to losing his life. They didn't have weapons on the Merchant Marine ship, but uh, they were shot at. It really makes you realize how many people in Rhode Island have fought for our country to make it what it is today. This mystery penny on Holly Charette's tombstone was put there by Francisco Silva Jr. Charette was 21 years old when an explosion killed her in Iraq. It's something I've been doing for quite some time now. I think since she's been put there. When I first came home from Nam, nobody had any respect for any of us. Right now, you look out, words can't describe it. Uh, it's amazing. Like I say, when I first came home, different, and they're being put up by young people. People that don't even know about war. Hopefully, they'll never know it. <laughs> And to pass that down to these guys and let them know that, you know, it wasn't always as easy as it is now. There is uh, so much we owe to them, and so a little bit of time on a Saturday morning is worth every second. It's a Memorial Day honor that's been going on since the cemetery opened nearly 50 years ago. In Exeter, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.